Happy New Year, aviation family. In all my time flying, I've discovered one thing. It doesn't matter what kind of flight you're doing. It doesn't matter what aircraft you're flying or how long your flight is. The pre-flight or the process of checking everything on the aircraft before you go flying generally takes the same amount of time. My rule of thumb is that it takes me 45 minutes to get the aircraft ready, so with a bit of contingency, I give myself one hour before I need to depart when I get to the airport to start getting the aircraft ready. Even though the flight that I'm doing today, this flight right now, is only gonna be 11 minutes long. Merry Christmas, happy New Year, see you, my friend. Bye, sir. It may be a very short flight, but it's also a very important one. It's also a very windy one. There's a horrible crosswind today. This is not what I wanted for my first flight back in the new year, but it is what it is. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Okay, Touch knots, flaps away. Out of parameters control zone, start to make our way towards Tyab now. We can turn onto our track and I'm going to climb us up to 2,500 feet. Yeah, the crosswind of 35 knots coming across from this side at the moment. That's pretty breezy. It'll be interesting to see how we go with uh, landing at Tyab. It's a very thin runway. Today I'm flying to an airport called Tyab, which is, as I said before, it's a really short flight from Moravian Airport. It's about 11 minutes, 7 minutes you've got a tailwind sometimes. It's a really quick flight, but it's an important location because it's the venue for this year's fun flight. Now, Fun Flight is a charity that uses aviation to help families with children who have a disability, a serious illness, families sometimes where one of the parents might be ill, or families that would just benefit from a kind of a, a good experience in life, and aviation can bring that to them through the charity Fun Flight. Now, this is going to be the first Fun Flight that's actually happened since the pandemic. They haven't done one of these for a couple of years, but this year's is quite special because not only are they back after the pandemic, but it's going to be their 15th year of operation and they're going to be flying their 15,000th fun flight. And because it's all happening here at Tyab, I thought I'd fly down today just to quickly check it out and tell you a little bit more about how you can get involved in this really, really important aviation event. Oh, hopefully the weather will be better than it is today when we actually do fun flight though, that's gnarly. Bye bye, autopilot. Ugh. Tire traffic, again Zulu, turning final, runway 17, full stop. Tire. Carrying a bit more speed because it's gusty, as you can tell. Not my straightest. <laughs> I hope no one was watching that. Just in case you're not a pilot, what I was talking about on the way down is when there's a crosswind, it means when you're trying to land down a straight runway, if the wind's blowing directly across it, that's what we call a crosswind, that's the wind that pilots hate the most. We like a wind that comes straight down the runway, so when you land, everything is nicely lined up. When I was landing, the aircraft was sort of turned to one side, have to crab in, come down. I'm supposed to land on one wheel, kind of landed on the other one. Pilots would have probably spotted that, and it just makes the whole thing a lot more complicated. But we're down, and we're in tyre. Now, I always talk about aviation on this channel as being a bit of a family. In fact, quite often when I write back to comments, I always talk about the aviation family is really strong. And I truly believe that. It doesn't matter if you're a pilot or not. If you just love aviation, you enjoy watching channels like mine, it means that you're part of the aviation family. And what I need from this video is for that aviation family to come together. Firstly, pilots, if you are able to get to Tyab next month, and like me, you want to be one of the people flying the families and the children around as part of the Fun Flight experience, jump onto the Fun Flight website, go to the contact page, fill in your details, and request to be one of the pilots down here at Fun Flight next month. There are safety standards, hours, medical, and some insurance requirements which you will need to meet. Some of those are listed on the website, but your first port of call is to send that contact form off to the Fun Flight team, let them know 
know that you want to be part of the day and they'll get back to you with some further questions. If you're not a pilot but you can still get down here for the day and you can offer your time, that is one of the most valuable things that you can do in this world. If you can give your time and you want to volunteer to help on the day, again, use that contact form on the Fun Flight website. Now, obviously, if you're watching this and you can't help if you are maybe overseas or you can't get down to Thai for the day, then of course donations are going to be gratefully accepted by the Fun Flight team so they can put on events like this in the future as well. And if you can't do any of that, and I totally understand if you can't get here and maybe financially you're not able to give a donation, that is completely fine. The one thing I'd just say is maybe it helps me as well, but if you share this video out to other people, then other people will be aware of Fun Flight, maybe tweet it, put it on your Instagram account. Yes, of course it helps me as a creator because it helps grow my channel, but fundamentally, I don't ask for that very often, but for this video, if we can get more eyeballs on it so more people can help out, then those families and the children of the families who, well, they just need a break. If we can help them and put a smile on people's faces through aviation, that's where the family works best. Family, I keep saying family. I sound like Vin Diesel from Fast and the Furious. We have a similar body shape as well. On the day itself, as well as all the flying that's going on with pilots taking the families and their children up to get some aviation fun during the day. On the ground, there'll be a lot of events happening as well. The CFA, the Country Fire Authority, they'll be down here. There'll be a barbecue, there'll be face painting going on, activities for the kids. Apparently they might be clowns. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for me. Anyway, if your kids like clowns, they'll be clowns. Also the team from the Peninsula Aero Club, that's where I'm filming this here today right now, they'll be here as well, helping out with Fun Flight, but also available to answer your questions. So if you are interested in aviation, maybe you've always dreamed about becoming a pilot, then come down on the day, speak to the guys from the Peninsula Aero Club, and they can also help you out with options for flight training and you know, maybe ending up kind of traveling around the country like I do in your own little plane. It's not a bad life. The start of the new year's I record this and some of my friends like to do the what's your word for the year what's the one word that sums up how you want to approach and maybe see this year unfolding and my word for this year was curiosity curiosity is going to be my word of the year because I really like the idea of being more curious in my like my local environment, first of all, I'm not getting out into Melbourne as much as I could be and I really want to explore my hometown, my home state of Victoria as well. And beyond that as well, I mean, there is quite a bit of travel that I want to do now the pandemic seems like it's pretty much over and we can get out and travel as normal again. Traffic Echo Yankee Zulu is entering and will be rolling runway 17 via downwind departure to the north, climbing 1,500. Type traffic. Now, if I could choose a phrase for the year instead of a word for the year, I think my phrase for the year would be giving back. I've done okay in life. I've worked hard to get where I am. No one really gave me anything for free, and for the last 20 years, I've I've worked a lot to get to this point. But now I'm in quite a lucky and privileged position. I think now is the time in my life when I want to actually start giving back. And if you like the sound of that and you maybe want to make the phrase for your 2023 giving back as well, then come and help me out at tie up next month for Fun Flight because as well as helping a load of families, it's just going to be a brilliant day of aviation. All the details about Fun Flight are in the description down below. I hope you can get involved. I hope to see you here next month.